Hello, 8Es, receiving teachers and students. Thank you, you may sit down. 8Es and receiving students, we are now on our new strand measurement and our substrand is on weight. Okay, 8Es and receiving students. So, our new strand now is on measurement and our substrand is on weight. So, for this strand, this substrand, we are now looking at weight. Okay. We've moved away from algebra, now we're on to weight. Before we go on with, we move on with our topic, I'm going to show you a video insert, all right? Atheists and receiving students. This video insert is about men in space and men on earth. So what you're going to do now is you're, once you have viewed the tape, you are going to compare the difference of men in space and men on earth. Space. Space is the huge area beyond Earth's atmosphere. It is a place where there is no air and no sound. Because there is no air, there is nothing to stop you from moving. Anything that starts moving just carries on at the same speed, in the same direction, until it bumps into something. That means the astronauts working outside their spaceship could just float away. That is why they are always attached to it by a long cord. Oh, good thinking. On Earth, the atmosphere protects us like a warm blanket. But out in space, there is no such protection from the sun's harmful radiation or from the extreme temperatures. I guess that's why the astronauts wear spacesuits. Exactly. When the sun shines on an object in space, it is heated to temperatures hotter than the hottest oven. When the same object is in the Earth's shadow, the temperature is colder than the coldest freezer. Ooh. Without air, there are no gases to transmit the vibrations that make up sound. Space is a silent world. Getting off the Earth is the hardest part of the journey to space. The mysterious force of gravity holds us down on the ground. No matter how hard we try to push away from the Earth, gravity pulls us back down. All right, so from the video inset, okay, I've, I told you that you have to compare the difference between men in space and men on Earth. So you just saw, okay, so receiving students, can you add, give me uh, the difference, okay, the differences between these two scenes. Okay, let's have um, one from this group here. Okay, just compare the difference. Receiving students. Katrina. When comparing both space and earth, in the air, there is no sound and air, but on Earth, there is sound and air. Okay, good. Yes, Katrina. Um, who else? Let's have one from this group here. Um, in space, there's no gravity, and in Earth, there's gravity. Okay, thank you. On Earth, there is gravity, yeah. Okay, good. Now, our topic for today is we're, look, we're going to look at units of weight. Now, before we go on to our actual lesson, okay, let's have a look at these two words, or this word. Mass, okay? All right, the word mass. Okay, I'm sure you've looked at mass and mass in your science lesson, yes? Receiving students and 80s. Okay, uh, let's have Ben. Ben, please, can you read? Mass is, a, mass, is, <laughs> mass is the quantity of matter or uh, in an object. Okay, thank you. Let's move on. Let's have um, Stephanie. Stephanie, 
Stephanie N. Please quickly read. Weight is a force. It is a downward force of gravity. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, from from the video, all right, from the video insert that, I mean, from the video that you viewed, okay, you saw an astronaut, right? Now, I'm just going to give you some facts on men on Earth, uh, sorry, in space and on Earth. Huh? Okay, and I want you to listen very carefully. It says, right, an astronaut tied to a space shuttle, right? An astronaut is, did you uh, see that that astronaut was tied with a rope, yes? Okay, tied to a space shuttle, moves rapidly around the Earth. Now, they move, therefore, they don't have what? Right, they don't have weight, huh? okay? Because they move, right? They move rapidly or they fly around the Earth rapidly, okay? Now, if they stop, what will happen? Receiving students? If, let's say, if they stop flying, okay? If they stop moving, what will happen? They will fall, why? Yes? Okay, why will they fall? Come on. Re receiving students? Priscilla? La Voice, come on, we're not thinking. It is. Okay, if the astronaut stops floating or stops moving, right? What will happen? Okay, you said that it will, the astronaut might fall. Okay, why? Because they will have weight. Thank you, Alved. All right, if they, if they stop, all right, meaning they will have weight, therefore they will fall down to the ground. Huh? They will fall down. So once again, astronauts, when they, I mean, astronauts, they move around or they fly around, okay, the Earth. Huh? Now, they fly around or they move around, that's be, that means they don't have, because they move around, they don't have weight. weight. So in space, when they fly around or orbit around the Earth, they don't have weight. Okay, mass, mass is a, a quantity, okay, of matter and object mass. They do have mass, all right? Weight up in space, no, because they are flying or orbiting around the Earth. You understand, ATs and receiving students? All right, now let's move on to, let's name some of the units of weight. When we are measuring weight, receiving students, what are some of the units that you use? Quickly, let's have some answers. Let's have one from this group. Thank you. Samuel? Kilograms. Kilograms, very good. Um, Jamie? Tons. Tons, yes, thank you. What else? Grams. Grams, thank you. Caleb? Pounds. 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 Okay, yes. And let's have one from that. Pounds. Milligrams. Milligrams. Okay, thank you. So those, some of the units that we use to measure what? Weight. Okay. Now let's look at, firstly, let's look at some of the definition of th these units of weight. Okay, for example, one ton. Okay, everyone look up here and you can just copy, copy down quickly, please. Receiving students or receiving teachers, you can copy this down quickly for your students later on to give to them to copy. One ton is the weight of one cubic meter of water. Okay, I'm just going to give you one minute to copy, please. OK. 
stay. Have you finished? Yes. Okay, if you haven't, please copy from your friend uh, so we'll move on. Okay, good. Next, one kilogram. One kilogram is the weight of one liter of water. Okay, finished? Yes. Thank you. Move on. One gram is the weight of one cubic centimeter of water. Okay, finished. Okay, and lastly, Okay. We finish. Thank you. All right. Okay, so I'll just explain this one here. One where it says one gram is the weight of one cubic centimeter of water. Okay, receiving students, I'm sure you've seen examples of those uh, blocks, uh, base 10 blocks. And if you can remember a one single cube. Eighties, have you seen those cubes? Receiving students? Okay, let's say one cube. That one cube is equal to one cubic centimeter. Am I correct? Yes, one cubic centimeter. So one cubic, if that cube is filled with water, one cubic centimeter of water, that will be equal to how many grams? One gram. Very good. Okay, now let's move on to our activity for today's lesson. Now, receiving teachers, we have five groups, okay? What we're going to be doing now is for our activity, we are going to predict, okay? We're going to predict different weights, sorry, weights of different objects, okay? Now, receiving students, these are the different objects, okay, or the different things that we are going to um, weigh. But firstly, we, are go we will have to predict first. So we have a bucket of water, we have a, one coconut, we have one betel nut, and um, we are going to predict the weight of Mr. Dumo, receiving teachers and students. And we'll also predict the weight of one ten toya coin. Okay? So each of these objects are here. Now I've given you your papers for you to, in your groups, for you to predict, make predictions. So, uh, 80s and receiving students, you, when you predict, let, it's sort of, sort of like you're going to compete uh, with. The other, other groups. And then after that, we are going to confirm our answers by weighing. Okay, you are going to come and weigh your, I mean, weigh those um, different objects. And then you'll see from your answers. Are they the same? Did you get the same answer? Did you get the right, closest answer? Okay, so we'll have these objects here in different groups. So we'll have group one. Oh, okay, we're going to do the predictions first, okay? ADs and receiving students. So let's say bucket of water. You predict 
How much does this bucket of water weigh? Okay. Now, this bucket of water here, this coconut. Uh, where's our betel nut? Here. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. One betel nut. And Mr. Dumo. <laughs> Predict his weight. How much does he weigh? Okay, and one ten to a coin. Okay. So, okay, so in your groups, I'd like you to do that, please. Can you, you just go through your predictions first, huh? Receiving students? Or you guess. But make sure your guess must be. Must be close to the answer that we'll get, right? Bucket of water, okay? Later, you're going to give me all this and then I'll put them down, all of your predictions. And we'll see which group got the closest prediction. Actually, no? Yes. It's okay. They feel. Okay. Or oh, you can. Okay, we'll have this group to come and fill the way. Uh, yeah, just come and fill it. Group one. And then later the others can come too and just see how heavy it is. No. Lift it. Okay. The others, you can come, the other group there, Mark's group, you can come and have a fill of the bucket. Or we'll have Katrina's group first. Just come and Oh, it's okay, you can come. You can come up and fill it. A ten to a coin is here. Come and get that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you have finished, you are going to give me your predictions, and I'll put them down. So you'll see which group's prediction is closest to our real answer. Okay. Have we finished? Okay, I'm going to get your predictions now, and I'm going to put them up here, write them up on the, this big chart here, table of results. Okay, all, the, all your predictions, please. Thank you, one, two. Okay, this group, group A, B, your group. Eight. Okay. 
Okay, let's check. Group A, bucket of water, 10 kilograms. Let's see. Okay. Coconut, 125 grams. Betel nut, 20 grams. Weight of Mr. Dumo, 87 kilograms. And one ten toya coin, five grams. Okay, that's group A. Group A, that's your predictions. Okay, the next one. Okay, group B, that's this group here. Bucket of water, 20 kilogram. Okay. Um, one coco coconut, two grams. Yes? One coconut, okay. Betel nut, one gram. Uh, weight of Mr. Dumo, 145 kilogram. <laughs> kilograms. One ten toy coin, zero kilogram. Okay, that's good. You put kilogram here. Gram. Okay, next group, group C. Okay, group C. Um, that's group C. Okay, 10 kilograms, 250 grams for one coconut, betel nut, 10 grams. Um, Mr. Dumo's weight, 85, 85 grams. Ten toya, one ten toya coin. Yeah, group C. That's what you you put here. Eighty-five. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm just joking. Eighty-five kilograms. Sorry, Mr. Dumo. Okay. Next one. Okay. Bucket of water. Ten. Kilogram, 500 grams, one milligram, 80 kilograms, one milligram. Okay, and the last group, bucket of water, seven liters, one kilogram, three grams, 82 kilogram, and five milligrams. Okay, so those, are your predictions eight is and receiving students now what we're going to do now is i'm going to ask each group uh, so we'll have group one uh, group a you're going to come and you're going to confirm your answer by weighing the bucket of water okay so you're going to weigh the bucket of water you'll confirm the answer group b you're going to weigh the coconut group c betel nut group d You'll get Mr. Dumo's weight and group E, 10 to a coin, one 10 to a coin. Okay? So we'll check if our predictions are close. Yeah. One at a time. We'll have group one. Okay. We'll have just two of you to come up here and wait. Okay, we're going to use the, this bathroom scale. No. <laughs> okay, get the bucket of water. Now, you're not, we are not going to put a bucket of water straight on top. We'll have to put this one first. Read, get, 
Look at the reading properly. Hmm? There's a decimal point there. Can you give us the reading, please? Good girl. 10.0 kg. 10.0 kg. 10.0 kilograms, that's 10 kilograms. Who got 10 kilograms? Okay, so that's, we, we've confirmed our answer. Thank you. By weighing the bucket of water, and we got 10 kilograms. Very good. So group A, C, and D, their predictions were right. They got 10 kilograms. Thank you. Now let's look at the next coconut. Coconut group B, please, can you come and weigh the coconut? You're going to use this scale here to measure. Okay, this scale is measured five in five five grams. Okay. All right, eight is and receiving students, you look at this scale in measured in five grams. So it's at zero. So you left to read in fives, right? Okay. Okay, now you can, you can wait now and let's see. So it's somewhere here. What is it? 550, 555, 560, 565. Let's say 580. 580. 580. 580. 580. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five hundred and eighty grams. Okay. The thank you, uh, Group B. So they confirm the answer, their predictions, by weighing and the weight of that coconut is five hundred and eighty grams. Who got close to five hundred and eighty grams? Okay, very good. Group uh, D. Okay. All right, next one. Now let's have group C, please. Betel nut. Come and weigh the betel nut, please. And let's see. How much does the betel nut Uh, can we have um, someone, uh, Simon? Simon, please, can you come and help just to get the reading, please? It, it's in fives, okay? Fives. The weight of this pitonat is 30 grams. Okay, 80s and receiving students, 30 grams. Did anyone get 30 grams here? But close to 30, yes, group A. Okay. Now, Mr. Dumo, we are going to get his weight. 
Okay, come up here. Okay. Yeah, come and press this. Press this button down there at the back. Okay. Now when it's at 0, 0, 0.0, okay. Okay, 81.4. Okay, 81.4 kilograms. So we can round it off to 81 kilograms. So who got... Okay, we had group D and group E. Your prediction is very close. Thank you. Now let's have the last one. The what? Ten one ten toya coin. Okay, please. That group? The last group. Quickly. All right. Okay. We're going to you are going to measure the weight of one ten toya coin. Okay, eighties and receiving students, look up here. Now what we're going to do now is we are not going to on this scale here, we're not going to put only one ten toya. We are going to put ten of them, ten, ten toya coins. And then, what are we going to do? We are going to divide by ten to get the weight of one ten toya coin. Okay, eighties and receiving students. Okay. Okay, Eddie? Fifty five gram. Okay, okay. Fifty five gram. Okay, fifty five grams for how many coins? Ten toy coins. Okay, so I mean ten ten toy coins. So what are you going to do? Divide by ten. So what is your answer? Five point five grams. Now you have a look at your predictions. Okay, group A, group A, very good. Your prediction was very close. Okay. So, 8 is and receiving students, that brings us to the end of our lesson. So, what you did today was, you made predictions, okay, of um, different weights, uh, different um, objects, okay, different weights of, weights of different objects. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson. Uh, receiving teachers, our keyword for today is on units of weight. Now, in our next lesson, receiving teachers, we are going to look at weight charts, okay? And receiving teachers, I advise you to just get copies of clinic books, okay? Thank you, 80s and receiving students, for participating in today's lesson.